Let's wrap this up with some products and thoughts. Yay! Let's do it. All right, where to start? I guess we should start with the toners, maybe? Why don't we start there? Yeah, so the toners are in that category of, that refer back to the toner episode. Um, it's definitely yeah. in that, I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Um, it's a supplement to your routine. Mm -hmm. In particular, there is a mugwort essence that you can find on Soko Glam. Probably the one I recommend if you want to try out mugwort. It's the brand, yeah. I think, is literally called Made from Mugwort. Or Made, yeah. is that the brand name? It's called I'm from what, Mugwort Essence. Oh, excellent. <laughs> but um, like some of the toners we cover in that episode. Yeah, so this essence is actually just 100% mugwort. So it's a great place yeah. to just try to see if it helps with, with your um, breakouts. So I do want to call out, though, that this toner is $40. So it's not the cheapest experiment, necessarily. I mm -hmm. believe Round Lab does have another mugwort toner that you could try. Um, mm -hmm. So just want to put that out there for everybody if you're wanting to dabble in this realm. Yeah. And then speaking of toners, which hazel is one you'll find frequently find, find toners in everything. Along. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Thayer's is a classic one. It is dirt cheap. So it's another one that was like, it doesn't hurt to try, but yeah. It, if you really don't see too much benefit, yeah. you can cut it. It's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I think the probably the realm that is more interesting is, I guess interesting for us is just the tea tree landscape. Most of it is just buying essential oil and diluting it yourself. There's like not much more than that. Yeah, I think... Um, the body shop used to have a five or maybe it was a 10% tea tree 10%, oil product. Yeah. 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 And the brand is uh, gone really south in terms of performance. I don't think you can find it anymore. Mm. As, a, as a podcast that usually, you know, like warns against homemade remedies, um, tea tree oil, because yeah. I think it's really fallen out of favor marketing wise. So we don't really see any like formulations yeah. done with um, tea tree oil. But this yeah. is something that kind of doesn't hurt to do by. You can dilute, uh, buy tea tree oil. Don't use it neat. Make sure you dilute it down to say no. 5% yeah. um, with a base oil. Um, yeah. And that's a good way to try it out. Yeah, totally. I think that's a really good point and something to pay attention to if you do try to buy tea tree oil. Just definitely decode the IL here because some of them are 100% and then you'll mm -hmm. look on the back of others and it will already come diluted. So, and that's really important when you're doing the study, the when you're doing your own experiment on your skin. Uh, and just keep in mind, you know, from the studies we shared, they're starting out from as low as like 5%. So hopefully that gives you at least a base point of where to start. Last but not least, I guess we should mention briefly about the Inculus uh, Sassanic Acid Spot Tree. Uh, uh. Hmm. That one has 1% cell acid and 2% sulfur. So okay. while it doesn't hurt to try, I am not sure what the systemic acid brings to the table. Yeah, I wish they led with the cell acid sulfur. Maybe that, I don't know. I feel like that would make more sense, but I don't know. Yeah. But I think that's the general product landscape with these plants. Um, yeah. Acne is not short of interesting new ingredients that may or may not hold up so if you have nope. any other questions about this realm just let us know 